Squarespace has just rolled out a new AI tool to help you with SEO on your website. I'm going to show you how to use it in this video. Hi, I'm Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace expert and educator. Check out the description below for some helpful links and tools. I'm here in my Sway template for service providers. And if you're interested in purchasing this template, I'll drop a link below to my template shop. But I wanted to show you how you can use the new Squarespace AI tool to help you with your website's SEO. So to get there, they've kind of moved everything around in the menus again. So I'm going to use the trick of hitting the forward slash key on my keyboard. It's the same as the question mark key. And I'm going to type in SEO. and Go ahead and click on SEO appearance here. Now you'll notice this is new. There's an SEO report up at the top. 13 out of 13 pages are missing metadata and 28 out of 28 images are missing alt text. I haven't done any SEO work on this demo template at all. So let's go ahead and click learn more here. This is gonna take you to a Squarespace help document that walks you through increasing your site's visibility to search engines. And it's gonna give you a little more detail about what you should use and where. But if we want to just go back and use the AI tool, we'll hit improve with AI. It's going to scan our site now. And here we have the metadata to review. You'll notice some of these are a little wonky. So blog, explore insights now, discover diverse topics, tips and perspectives. So because this is a template, it wasn't really set up with any strategic use of keywords. And you can see that's why it's struggling here. But if you don't like it, there are a couple of things you can do. You can hit regenerate and it's gonna give you another option. Or if you're like, no, this is just not quite nailing it, you can go ahead and click edit. And so I'm going to say the creative explorer. And then you can also edit the description for any keywords here. So as you scroll down, you'll notice that all of the pages are listed here. Now, one of the bugs is that the Instagram link and bio page, this is hidden from search engines, but it's still trying to show you metadata for it. So just know that that's a bug. The other bug is that it's trying to give you an SEO description for a folder, which is also a little weird. I'm not sure quite what to do with this at the moment, but I think I would just ignore it for now until we hear more from Squarespace about that. Now, the most important one here is your homepage. So make sure that this one is perfect. Go ahead and edit that. Um, again, custom 404 page. This one is hidden from search engines, so you can choose to just ignore it. Now, it is going to get added to that page, and then later on, if you decide to turn that page on for search engines, you can go back and edit it. So a few little wonky things here, but overall, this is super helpful, especially if you're mindful about using great keywords throughout your site. It's going to pull from that and help you. All right. Once you're ready here and all of these you've edited, go ahead and click save and continue. And now it's gonna take you to alt text. And this, I'm surprised it does such a good job here, but it really is doing a great job of describing what's in the image in every one of these instances. So again, you can choose to regenerate or edit any one of those. But once I hit save here, it's gonna go ahead and save all of that to my website. So let's go ahead and just take a peek. So before none of this had any kind of SEO information, this is the folder that I mentioned. I don't know where it thinks it put the SEO description for this, but you know, make sure it's good because it may be saving it in the code somewhere. Uh, again, these are things that were hidden from search results, but if I turn it on, you'll see that it did go ahead and fill that out, but I'm gonna toggle it back off. And then if we go back into our SEO appearance, we can scroll down and see, this is where it puts the site description that's tied to the homepage. So kind of the overall website description. So if you need to make edits there, do that. Otherwise they are in these pages, except I don't know where to find where it put the one for the folder. Um, otherwise it works really, really well. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what it did for our image alt text. So filled all of those out really beautifully too. Now, 
It's not using your keywords in these alt text descriptions, but you can go in and just quickly edit that. So if it's like a woman in a white overall dress, da, 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 you can put her name here. So just know that you can come in and type in additional information into that alt text once it's been automatically generated by Squarespace. So this is a really great time saver. There are definitely some bugs that they need to work out on the back end, but you know, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10 right now. Good job, Squarespace. If you found this helpful, please give the video a like or drop a comment below as that helps other people discover my videos. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your website.